Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it coming, folks. No, unfortunately, it's not a definite chance of a huge snowstorm for the east. But what I do see is a huge chance for some misinformation to get spread. Just like this last storm, everybody said it was going to be a huge snowstorm. And we've all seen the totals. We all know that that was just blatantly false. That being said, we are about to get some snow that's about to happen over here in the Ohio Valley. In fact, looking at the current radar, you can see that we do have an area, a decent area, of snow that is going to try to push down to the south and east into the Chicago region, Indiana, parts of Illinois, and the Ohio Valley, bringing some snow for fun some folks, but I will caution you, it's not going to really last that long. We're going to get a little bit of a warm-up after this, and then that snow is going to melt pretty quick. Switching this over to the models here, you can see that that, that snow is up there and it's eventually going to push down to the south by the time we get into about 3 p.m today we're going to start to see that push into indiana also maybe some snowflakes down there in kentucky in the higher elevations as well ohio might get a shot of it again the track of this thing is not 100 certain but it looks like it's mainly going to be southern ohio lots of snow starting to pop up over here in the mountainous regions mainly only in the mountainous regions the lower you are in elevation the less snow you're going to see so this is a little bit uh, misleading but as i push this forward you can see that there's a lot of snow uh, coming for those mountains looking at our projected snowfall totals over the next couple of days here which is going all the way out to the 24th at around six you can see that little shot of snow is going to bring a strip here of around one to four inches all the way down from southern wisconsin into northeastern illinois down into indiana potentially a little bit over there in ohio but this is a little bit less certain could be a little bit further to the south and west some snow over here in Kentucky, then eventually we start to see some higher totals as we go higher in elevation in the Appalachians, where we could even potentially get up to two feet of snow on the peaks of the mountains here in the Appalachians. It's not going to make it down to the lower elevations, but a decent amount of snow for the other parts of West Virginia from an inch to a dusting all the way up to about two inches in the lower elevations. Moving over here to Pennsylvania, you can see that there is a decent amount of snow, especially for these mountains in the lower elevations. We're talking about two to four inches, maybe maybe an inch or a dusting, just depending on how low you are in elevation. But up in the mountains, we could see anywhere from four to seven inches over here near Scranton, potentially even more snow could pile up on the peaks of these mountains. See about a foot of snow possible there, about a foot of snow possible there, and about another foot of snow possible north of Scranton and just to the east of Scranton. Then also some more mountain snow is going to be possible up here in New York, also going into Vermont as well. New Hampshire and a little bit of snow up here in Maine, around three to five inches. All right, now let's go and talk about the tropics where we have another... I'm just kidding. There's nothing going on there. <laughs> gotcha. I got you there for a second. You were like, uh-oh, are you serious? <laughs> but yeah, as we go into the future, this is where we're going to run into some problems. I want you guys to think of these models, right, as a blurry and clear picture or a low resolution and high resolution picture. When you're, especially with snow, right, and even cold air, when you're around one to three days out, that's when the picture starts to become nice and clear. But when you go seven to ten days out, it looks like this. Can you tell what this photo is? <laughs> I know I can't, but try to guess and leave your guess in the comments. But as we get closer and closer to the event, the picture gets a little clearer and a little clearer till all of a sudden, oh, it's just a dog. It's just a dog. I thought it was something else, to be honest. So let's back up here and go look at the models, kind of zoom out from the United States and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about in terms of the, the next storm that people are most likely going to hype as we get closer and closer hopefully hopefully fingers crossed it kind of disappears before the hype can get started but usually that doesn't happen usually it gets started and, and and it continues even after the models downgrade so as you can see we're still gonna have this storm in the northeast it's gonna be swirling over there still bringing some rain potentially some pretty gusty winds as well over here near new jersey as this thing kind of exits the coast we're talking about anywhere from 40 or 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts possible there on the coast of New Jersey and New York. So keep an eye out for that. So more mountainous snow is going to be possible on the 23rd. Also, just today, just a you know, briefly, but stress here. And over here in Northern California, today we are going to have a lot of rain come through the area. As you can see, a higher risk for flooding has been issued for areas near Eureka and Redding. You guys need to be paying attention as this come through. Catastrophic, life-threatening flooding is going to be a major possibility with some mudslides possible today. But 
as I push this forward, you can see that this storm gets out of our hair in the northeast, and then eventually we see another little clipper storm might bring some trace amounts to so to somebody. Maybe it tries to organize last second over there in Wisconsin. We've got to watch out for that possibility. Maybe a little bit of extra snow there. And to be honest, this is usually where I would stop talking about the future models but unfortunately other people don't have that constraint because again we're starting to see this picture go from clear to a little bit more blurry but as i push this even further the picture is getting blurrier and blurrier and blurrier potentially a little bit of a, a of a decent amount of rain there for the east coast not really talking about too much of a severe weather threat there maybe a little bit of snow on the back side of that depending on what the models say as we get closer but look at this as we go into like the second or the first of december you're we're gonna start seeing a bunch of photos, videos, and thumbnails overhyping this event. Again, we are over here past 10 days. Our photo is so blurry. We could barely even tell it's a photo in the first place. <laughs> but this is what everybody's gonna be talking about until you know, a little bit after it disappears from the models. So just have your BS meters on as we go further and further into the future. Because again, the uncertainty is super high. And let's talk about that real quick. All right. So here's our latest GFS run and bringing it back. You can see, <laughs> well, there was a signal there for a little bit, but then you go back another model run and it's completely gone. You go back another model run, it's completely gone. You go back another model run, all of a sudden we have snow in Arkansas and Missouri. You go back another model run and it's just rain up there in the, parts of the southeast and the ozarks keep going back a couple model runs oh it shows up again it shows up again there it is it's gonna happen guys just i'm just kidding but as you can see as i push this through model run after model run you can see just how much this storm is jumping around which is a great example of uncertainty you're not going to see a whole lot of people that are hyping the storm talk about this i just want to give you guys a good little pamphlet of information in order to keep in your back pocket as you navigate the social media landfill that some parts of the weather forecasting scape that is youtube thankfully this isn't really much of a big problem with your local meteorologist but yeah because of this amount of uncertainty i'm not even going to talk about snowfall amounts i regularly would not even talk about a storm this far out and unfortunately because of all the misinformation because of all the hype that tends to form with some of these storms i got to bottom line is we just have to wait a little while for that event to actually become a clear picture it's gonna be a couple of days some people just aren't that patient but wait we have more to talk about in terms of something else that might also get a little bit overhyped here as we go into the future you know again when i say overhyped all that means is that we have no certainty at this point. So anybody claiming any form of certainty with their thumbnails, their headlines, and with their videos, you can just be rest assured that is a classic weather scam artist. They exist. Believe it or not, there's a lot of money to be made in this industry. So people get a little greedy. Yeah, the next thing is going to be the temperatures. The temperatures, you know, over the next couple of days, it's going to be generally cooler in the eastern United States. Nothing too crazy, nothing that nobody is not used to. Might have a little bit of a warm up down here in the southern plains as we go into the 23rd. And then continuing to push this further and further into the future, you can see something is starting to I'm starting to pop up up here we got a little bit of that arctic day, that arctic air trying to creep down to the south into the united states and as we continue to push this forward you can see that it's just trying it's it's trying to think about it. it's like yeah i don't know maybe i'm gonna dip my toe in the united states so i'm gonna do it oh i'm gonna do it and then once that storm that fantasy storm comes through models are saying that it's going to grab this nervous bit of cooler air this arctic air and sling it down into parts of the united states with single digits across the board but just wait we are still in fantasy land this could totally change one of the things that i've been noticing on the models this year is that they have been for some reason underestimating the moisture advection the temperature advection to the north which all that means is that the models have just been too cold and then as they get closer and closer they warm up that's been a trend that's been going on for almost every single storm in november so just keep that in mind keep that in mind but yeah as you can see it's just Generally going to be pretty quiet it's going to be a little chilly this week and maybe we get some sort of end of the month surprise and maybe not it's definitely not worth talking about right now any responsible weatherman will tell you that i would mainly focus on this storm right now enjoy the snow that comes out of it i know some folks aren't going to get a whole lot but maybe there just might be enough to make a snowman and i want to say a huge thank you to whoever liked or subscribed during this video you guys are helping the channel grow so i can reach more people and i'll see you guys on the next video peace